GarageBand here on the iPhone or the iPad has literally thousands of sounds, but what if you wanted to tweak and customize your own sound and then save that as a preset to use in the future? Well, you can do it, and in this GarageBand quick tip video, I'm gonna show you how. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete. This is Studio Live today where I help you create, record and release your best music. And if you're creating music and you're looking for some different sort of sounds and you've used the GarageBand default sounds a lot, you might want to start tweaking and adjusting and refining those sounds and then using those in your projects. But it's even better because you can then save those as custom presets to use in future projects. So you don't have to go back and retweak them every time. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do that with both a keyboard instrument and an audio recorder track. And also, as a bonus tip, how to share that across to another device if you want to use it on your iPad or another iPhone. So let's jump in to GarageBand now and take a look. My home away from home, GarageBand on the iPhone. That almost rhymes. Anyway, we're gonna create a new document here in iCloud Drive. I could use on my iPhone or on my iPad, but I'm gonna use iCloud Drive for a reason that I'll show you a little bit later in the video. It's around how we can share our settings between different devices. But for now, let's jump into our keyboard. Now I'm gonna tap on more sounds here, and I will actually use a synth classic. In fact, let's use my favorite synth, which is this one here, Polarize. So what I'm going to do is, I'll show you how we can adjust the settings here of any synth track like Polarize, and then I'll record a little piece of uh, audio, and then we'll go through and I'll show you how we can save it out as a preset. Okay, so by default, our Polarize sound is going to sound a bit like this which is all good, it's kind of what we want. But if we tap on the little knob in the top right corner here, we go into our settings. Now, every different instrument is gonna have slightly different settings here. So I'm not gonna go into detail about all of those, but this is where you jump in and grab them. And you can actually use this across a heap of your smart instruments and touch instruments, all of your different keyboard sounds and pretty much any instrument, even your brass and other things, you can come in here and adjust some of the, some of the different settings that are gonna give you a different sound. So in this case, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop the cutoff down and this shape mod, I'm gonna drop all the way down here because then I get this sort of sound. Which is more of that, in fact the cutoff can go the other way, so let's make it. Yeah, that's better. So that's the sound that I actually want here. So now I'm gonna hit record, record in just four bars of a little ditty here, and then I'll show you how we can save this out as a preset. There we go, we'll hit stop. Now we've got our part recorded, but if I wanna use this in future recordings, what I can do is save this as a custom preset. So to do that, I tap in the top left corner here and you'll notice that next to Polarize now, there's a little dot there. That means that some changes have been made to the instrument. If I tap on it now, and if this is on your iPad, it'll be in the middle of the screen. If you're getting confused with that, that's where you'll need to tap. And now I can tap on save in the top right corner here and I can give it a different name. So let's just call this one PJ. Uh, chip tune because that's the type of synth that I've created here that I want to use it for. Hit done and now down in the custom and you can see I've got some other custom sounds there but down in custom it's saved out this preset for me to use on future projects. So I can hit done and we are done with that. So that's the first thing we could do is using our keyboard sounds and saving a preset on our keyboards. Now, as I mentioned before briefly, we can actually use this uh, across a whole bunch of different sounds. So not just our keyboard sounds, but pretty much all of the different instruments we have. The amp is very cool. You can set your own custom amp tones. All of these, we can use presets. But the one I use it the most, apart from keyboards, is probably the audio recorder, because when you're dialing in your audio recorder settings for your vocals, your guitars, everything else, then you might want to customize it and then save those presets. So if I come to audio recorder and tap more sounds, you can see here that I've actually already got a whole bunch of sounds in here. So if we tap on there under custom, I've already done a heap of these. So uh, I actually already created this PJ Robot sound, but I'm gonna just show you how I did it again, just to re-demonstrate and we'll make PJ Robot 2, shall we? So let's hit on done there. We'll just come all the way out and go back here and go to fun. And we'll start with robot because this is the basis of the sound that I want. But what I did to create this PJ Robot sound is I added some width up here and I adjusted the pitch up to about here with something like this. So this will be a bit of a surprise when we record. But again, to save this preset, tap in the top left, tap here where it's got robot with the dot next to it. We're gonna tap that. 
And now we can just tap on save in the top right corner. And once again, let's go PJ Robot and we'll call it PJ Robot 2. Because if we're doing a, a chip tune kind of sound, you definitely need a robot voice going on in there, don't we? We're all done there. We'll tap on done. And now we're ready to go. So what I'll do now is I'll record a little piece of audio recorder audio over the top of my synth just to demonstrate how we can use these customized sounds. This is your robot overlord, you must do what we say. There we go, there is our robot overlord, you must do what they say. So there is our recording, now let's just play back and take a quick listen. This is your robot overlord, you must do what we say. So you can hear there that the pitch adjustments and a few of the other things don't sound exactly quite right. I need to tweak that, but uh, we can do that because we've got our customized sound there. So that is what we've done. We've got a keyboard sound and now an audio recorder sound that we've customized the sound for. If we come back to the microphone here, we tap there, you can see PJ Robot 2 there is ready to go. Now a question I get from a lot of folks is, if I've saved a bunch of custom settings here and presets, how do I transfer them from one device to another? There doesn't seem to be an easy way to do it well the short answer is that there's not an easy way to do it but what you can do is if you transfer the actual project so the song file like we've got here over to your other device it will bring those across with it so if we go back to my songs the reason I have it here in iCloud Drive and I've named it robot demo here is it's now going to upload that to my iCloud Drive so what I'll do I'll jump over to my iPhone 5s and I'll show you how we can now download this and then save out these presets over to a different device here I am over on my iPhone 5S and I'm here in under locations, I'm in iCloud Drive and this should look familiar because it's the same as what we had over on our iPhone 6S. So I'm going to tap on Robot Demo to download this project file. So while this is downloading, the concept here is what we'll need to do is we will download this track and then it brings across those presets but just into this track. So then what we'll need to do is actually go into the presets and then save them out because your presets won't automatically save save and then be on all your devices, you need to actually open up a track that has those presets on it and then save them out on the other device. And keep in mind that if you're using things like Alchemy Synth or things that won't be available, sound packs that aren't available on the other device, then it won't work. So you do have to have the same version and the same sort of sounds installed and Alchemy Synth is not available on the iPhone 5S so it won't be here, which is why I've used the classic synth and the audio recorder for this demo. So we'll just wait for this to download and then I'll jump in and I'll show you how we do this. And here is our robot demo opened up here on the iPhone 5S and here are our two custom sounds. Now there's a couple of steps here to actually save these into our new device or a different device. So we've got the track highlighted there. We're going to tap on the little keyboard icon in the top left here which is going to take us into the actual customized sound and from here we can now tap in the top left and tap on the PJ chip tune. It's going to bring us out here to this very familiar spot. We're going to tap on save and then we're going to hit done. And that has now saved out that custom preset to this other device. So even if you open it in your other device and you're using it in a track, it's only going to save it as a preset if you do this. So if you wanted to use this or any of these sounds in another track, you need to actually do that first. To do our audio recorder, it's the exact same process. We'll tap on our robot friend. We'll tap on the microphone icon to go into the customized sound. We'll then tap in the top left, tap on PJ Robot 2, and hit save. And then once we go done, there we go, our preset is saved, we can hit done, we're good to go. We can now use these two presets on this device in any of our future tracks. And back over to our iPhone 6S. Now I did mention that there were a heap of these different instruments that we could use this on. I'm not going to show all of them, but you can experiment because the process of saving a preset is almost exactly the same in each and every one. But I did talk about alchemy. So if we go into an alchemy synth, the other thing is in alchemy, there's not just that first section. So if we tap on our options here, we've got a very different set of options here for alchemy synth. And I've got entire videos, which I will link up above and down below about the alchemy synth that you can check out. But if we 
tap on the right arrow here, we can actually go across, and this will look slightly different on your iPad, but again, we're on the iPhone here, and we can actually change all of these additional settings all the way down to here to get a really customized sound. And once we've done all of that, the process for saving a preset is exactly the same. Tap in the top right, tap on your changed item there, hit save, give it a name, hit done, and you are good to go. You can then use that sound. But again, keep in mind that you do, if you're going to use it on different devices, you need to make sure those devices have the same set of sounds here as you have on your original device. And there you have it, your very own customized sounds. You can tweak, you can adjust your heart's content. If you're using Alchemy Synth, there are so many settings in there and you can get the sound just right and then save it to use on your future projects. If you've got any other comments, questions, or suggestions, or your own ideas about how to use these presets, and you can leave those in the comments down below. I'm there all the time chatting to all of you fine people. And I really appreciate it when you give me feedback down there. And I'll see you on the next video. You made it all the way to the end, and I love you for that. We've got two more videos if you're keen to watch them more. They're linked in the two little boxes down below. You can also subscribe to the channel by clicking on the Studio Live Today icon in the top right corner, or of course, head over to studiolivetoday.com for even more audio goodness.